With the right conditions, a former quarry is a blank canvas. With modern construction machinery and vision, the industry can create anything. Imaginative restoration projects create new and exciting landscapes for people to enjoy. Over the past five decades, restoration in the quarry industry has evolved and expanded. Each decade has seen new, exciting and visionary projects. Alongside biodiversity restorations, the industry has pioneered multi-purpose restorations of former quarries. Farming, football pitches, footpaths, sculpture, shopping and housing have all found a home at the end of a quarry's working life. Across the country, crops and livestock that feed the nation are grown and reared on land once worked by the diggers. Construction waste that can't be recycled is moulded into rich farmland with lakes, woodland, hedgerows and wildlife corridors. Once we had achieved the desired landform with grading out the silt lagoons and the bund walls, the peat was used to cover the area. It was then ripped and cultivated to combine it in with the sandy substrate to form a soil forming substrate, which was suitable for the establishment of grass. In South Gloucestershire, a very large hole has been turned into a unique development of housing, shopping and wildlife. Local people wanted more housing close to the town centre and this former quarry is now a mix of retirement, social and private homes. The former quarry face is now a site of special scientific interest and a wonderful place for people to enjoy. The Coldstone Cut in Yorkshire is an awe-inspiring public artwork, 1,400 feet above sea level in one of the UK's highest quarries. It was created when the sculptor Andrew Sabin worked with local people to provide a spectacular piece of art that also educates people about the industry. And most poignant of all the quarry restorations is the National Memorial Arboretum in Staffordshire, sited in a former gravel quarry. The Arboretum honours those who lost their lives in both military service and in civilian life. More than 300,000 people visit the 400 memorials set amongst 25,000 trees every year.